come here. What's racism? Can you explain to me what racism is? Sure, okay. Well, racism is uh, treating people unfairly or in a hurtful way because of the, the color of their skin, their hair texture, uh, where they're from, the language they speak, their accent, or uh, any of those things. It's, it's wrong and it's unfair. So can you tell me about the survey Sesame Workshop conducted? Why did you decide to do it? Sure. So were you out of school last year because of COVID? Yep, I was out of school. Yeah, that was tough, wasn't it? Our focus was really to, to ask kids questions about how they were experiencing remote school and COVID. And then on May 25th, we had the murder of George Floyd. And we thought, you know what, we are hearing so much about from a grown-up's perspective of what's going on. Why don't we talk to kids and understand how they're feeling about what's happening? So that was the intention. So the study showed that 86% of children believe that people of different races are not treated fairly in this country. Were you surprised that the number was so high? That's a great question. I was surprised and because that means nearly every kid. So almost nine out of 10 thought that people were treated unfairly on the basis of their skin. And the good thing about that number is if kids are aware that people are treated unfairly, then perhaps they'll do something about it. Elmo wants to be an upstander to racism. Yeah, me too. But, well, I don't know what to do. So I've heard the word upstander a lot. What does that mean? An upstander is someone who uses their words, their kind words and actions to help themselves and their friends when they're being treated unfairly and unkindly because of their race or ethnicity or culture. And, and uh, an upstander treats everyone with kindness, fairness and respect. What should parents and teachers take away from the study? The most important thing in my head is talking to the children and your students. Children understand the concept of race and identity much earlier than we as parents think they do. And so really it's incumbent on us to figure out how we have those conversations around this earlier and earlier. And part of the Coming Together initiative was really sort of focused on introducing that, but getting parents and kids comfortable with the vocabulary around educating kids on these identity issues early enough in a comfortable way.